Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to upload notes on Doc Merit. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you upload notes on Doc Merit. Well, uploading documents or notes is actually pretty easy. So what we need to do first is we need to go to the official website, which is going to be docmerit.com, and you want to log in into your account. Now, typically at the top right, you should be able to see a login button, but since I'm already logged in, we're now ready to start uploading our notes. Let's go ahead and click on the cell button that you see at the top right here. Now, from here, it's going to redirect you to page where, in this case, you need to start uploading your document. So, in this case, we first need to uh, bas basically identify our, uh, for example, our university here, as well as what it is it is going to be about. In this case, go ahead and specify that, the location, university. Let's go ahead and save this. And from here, we want to add uh, the course name here. So, for example, this is going to be about environment. And from here, you can go and choose whatever course name in here. Once you've done that, let's go and click on the choose your file option at the very bottom. And you want to go ahead and click on the select files to upload. And you want to actually select your uh, document. So for example, I have this one. Let's go and click on open. And from here, let's go and click on upload to confirm. Now, once it's actually uploaded, we are now ready to proceed to the next step. Let's go and click on next step here. Now, also, by the way, you need to give your document a title. So, for example, I'm going to say this is going to be about global warming. And from here, let's go and click on next step. And from here, you should be able to see the next page here, which in this case, you need to ask or basically indicate the document details. So that includes the subject here, the category, the course code here, if you have any, and what academic gear here. So also you have the pricing here. So you also have the estimate or how much you'll be earning per purchase of this specific document. So for example, you could go ahead and change as $10. But then again, depending on the quality of your document, you could go ahead and increase the price itself. But in this case, we are good for now and we want to choose our subject. So for example, we are into, so this is going to be about, let's just say this is going to be about education choose your category here so in this case you could go ahead and choose the uh appropriate one here so i'm going to choose this one document is going to be 2024 or 2030 to 2024 written language i'm going to, i'm going to actually choose english here and click on save and continue and by the way you need to provide a short description here for example this is a test and from here you could go ahead and click on save and continue now, once you've clicked on it, it's going to upload your documents and start processing it. Now, typically, the document itself will be ready about three to five minutes before someone can actually do do buy or download that document. But before that, you can go ahead and start sharing this online, maybe on Twi uh, Facebook, Twitter, or even create bundles here if you have multiple documents that you want to make a bundle. Like, for example, you want to uh, give a sale on this specific bundle here. But in this case, you just need to wait for it. So you, when you actually go back to your dashboard here, you go ahead and click on uploads here and you should be able to see your documents and now in this case you could go ahead and just click on it view uh, if it's actually uh, ready to be uh, actually published or seen by other people but in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video